Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over some chat GPT prompts for business ideas and starting a business. Let's get started right away. It's pretty simple. Here's a prompt that I have that you can utilize and pretty much you just want to fill in the blanks, which I already did. So I am an expert at email marketing. Pretty much what you want to do is just fix this. What is it that you are good at? What is it that you are passionate about? Maybe you're not an expert, but you're pretty good at it. You know, you don't have to say expert. That's up to you. Enter in that specific category or niche right there. Give me some ideas about how I can start an online business. This could be offline also, right? And sell my course about email marketing to others online. So this is what you want to do. So this is going to be your niche or your expertise, you know, get started. And of course, what do you want to do in terms of uh, building and growing your online business. So it could be selling a course, could be selling other courses, it could be coaching, it could be consulting. Maybe you're fixing a specific problem where you're like flying out to people, you know, whatever it is, obviously everyone is different. So that's going to be the prompt. Obviously change it to your liking. Let's click on the arrow button and I will be back in a few seconds in the future once this is done. All right. So I'm not sure if you noticed, but with chat GPT-4 compared to the other versions, you get a lot more content. Like check out the scroll on this. I'm not going to go through and read everything. Just kind of go through the main ideas. When it comes to creating a compelling course, you can establish your brand, offer valuable free content. That's good, like a lead magnet as well, you know, for building your email list, which, you know, if you're an expert on that, you probably already know that, right? Using online platforms. So not only can you sell it yourself, you can go on places like Udemy, uh, maybe if you want to utilize Teachable and Thinkific or just other marketplaces so you can expand upon where you're selling it, leverage content marketing, utilize affiliate marketing, or just, you know, get affiliates to help promote with you, run targeted advertising campaigns, offer limited time promotions, and collect and showcase testimonials. So this is the cool part where we can dive a little bit deeper. So let's just say we know we have our course. Let's just say our course is already done. Let's talk about what the next steps would be. So let's give it some input and I will be right back. All right, so this is the good part where, like I said, if you put in a prompt, you can always extract more information out of it. So I have completed my comprehensive course about email marketing. I'm just making this up, obviously. In your situation, if you haven't done that, that might want to be the first prompt that you put in after this, just to say, like, how can I get more help with this? You know, narrow it down. What questions do you need answered? Ask those questions, okay? I'd like to use YouTube to talk about email marketing while promoting my course. So what traffic source do you want to use? If there's going to be a specific one, bring it up, okay? It's Once again, better input, better output. Because if you just say, I want to promote it online, and then they give you like a horrible website, and you don't even want to be anywhere near there, you know, it just doesn't make sense. So give me these step-by-step -step guidelines for getting started, <laughs> getting start with YouTube, getting started with YouTube and growing my channel. So now that we know more specifically what we want to do, let's just say we've done our course, what's next? Let's have chat GPT-4 tell us. So once again, I'm going to click on the arrow and I will be back in a few seconds. And once again, we got a good amount of content here. So I'm not going to read everything here, but just kind of quickly go over the steps. And if this was you and you're like, okay, what do I need to do here? You can always go to specific sections. And if you have any questions about that, just, you know, type it in. It's whatever you need help with most. Remember, if you need questions answered, ask that question. So creating a Google account, yeah, pretty simple. Setting up your YouTube channel, planning your strategy, you know, uh, determine the type of content you want to create, whether it's tutorials, tips, tricks, case studies, interviews, uh, industry experts, reviews, and so on and so forth. Create a calendar, pretty good. Invest in basic recording equipment. And a lot of times just computers have it, you know, if it's good enough in terms of the camera and the mic, but getting a mic. I've had my mic since around 2012. It's the uh, Blue Yeti one. I got it for $100 and uh, it still works great. It's it's phenomenal. So some of the mics out there can last you a very long time. Uh, optimizing your video titles, descriptions, and tags. Like for some odd reason, if there's not enough information here, like it's basic to me because I have a lot of experience with that. But if you need a little bit more help, you could always dive deeper for that specific section, like creating custom thumbnails. Where can I go to do this? You know, what software? Or can I use? Uh, can I have someone on Fiverr do it for me? And so on and so forth, right? These are the types of questions you might want to ask. Share your videos on social media and your website to get more traffic. Could obviously send an email to your list, engage with your audience, collaborate with other creators, analyze your performance, and monetize your channel. So overall, pretty straightforward. I'd say those are decent steps. Obviously, they're not all going to be super long like this. It's just like Google will tell you how to do that, right? You just follow the steps. But 
This was a good example about how you can use chat GPT for prompts when starting a business or just kind of getting business ideas. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope you got some value out of this. And I do want to reiterate one more time, like if there's questions you need answered, don't be afraid to ask them because once you get a good amount of information, you might want to know a few more things. And the more questions you ask, the more answers you get, that will pretty much allow you to get the rubber to the road, as they say, where you can take action and start seeing results. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.